Warning, sensitive content. I told you, I told people, please be careful now. You have to turn vegan now to protect yourself. And I want to say to everybody, this is my last offer, last call. If you turn vegan and repent sincerely, I will really take you to heaven, guaranteed, within six months from today. Mm -hmm. As a last call. Well, well. I won't be allowed to do much more than that. After this last call, without initiation, it will not be guaranteed for just anyone. You will have to try harder, fending for yourself. To anyone who repents, I will feel love for them. It's just automatic. Yes, Master. Mm -hmm. oh. Concerning Boris Johnson, he's from the positive power. Yes, 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 Master. He's one of the heavenly beings that came to this world to help the planet. Of course, nobody can see that. Not even himself. Yes, yes, yes. But if Ukraine accepts him, oh, that will be a very big blessing oh, for the yes. country. He will bless the country, and heaven will bless that country as well. And the English people also like him. I don't know why they don't say anything. They should just make a petition to say, oh, Johnson, stay. Please continue watching to find out more. On Friday, July 29, 2022, our most loving Supreme Master Ching Hai kindly called Supreme Master Television team members to check on their well-being and graciously share her thoughts on some good news reported by the team. Master also highlighted more positive world events and answered some spiritual questions. Okay, now tell me what's the good news. The first one, Master, is... Uh... Ukraine and Russia have signed a deal to allow the export of millions of tons of grain from three blockaded black seaports. Ah, wow, that's good of them. Yes, and potentially helping avoid the threat of a global food crisis. Yeah. So Turkey and the United Nations played key roles in supporting the negotiations. Mm. It went through, and I hope they keep their promise, because they did bomb some seaports, two of them. Yes, they did. Two seaports. Just one or two days later, another one. Yes, 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 Master. I saw that. That's why I didn't uh, report it to you. It's good news. I'm too tired of all this evil talk. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Certainly, they now have to sign with Russia in order to export their own grain. Can you believe that? And we call that good news, even. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> compared to other news, of course. Yes, yes, yes. But it's their grain, and normally they export it since forever already. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. Oh, and then just bomb them like that. Yeah, any excuse we do. Mm, yes. Yes, 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 Master. Just like bombing the refugees when they say they open a corridor. And I don't know what's become of Russia's government anymore. They seem to be all evil to me, or, or influenced by evil very deeply. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. And even the so-called Nukin is said to have sent a double to Iran. <laughs> 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 yeah, for the top, you know, in Iran. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, double are all they have right now, anyway. <laughs> yes, yes. Or triple, even, you know, or quadruple. Good thing is no more. Now it's run by even worse. I thought the double looked a little bit sweeter than Putin. Not so serious and not so haggard. And he looks a little bit less aggressive. So I thought this double maybe is okay to replace. It's a good job, you know that. Yeah. This is a good life, man. <laughs> huh? Not doing much. <laughs> right, right. Master. Just eat, sleep, and wait until whenever you have to go somewhere, then you just go. Mm. And not for long, <laughs> because they worry people will find out. <laughs> 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 so just short, you know, short meetings, you know, something. <laughs> Any other good news? Uh, yes. Another news. Due to the planned opening of the Black Sea port, India we will likely receive sunflower oil from Ukraine again mm. beginning in September. Mm. Approximately 50,000 to 60,000 tons mm. will be sent. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> yes. I do hope that they really let Ukraine export their own grain peacefully for the sake of the whole world. Yes, yes Master. Because many countries depend on that. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. 
Oh, I hope they don't keep bombing again and then make excuses and just using food as a strangulation method. I told you already before, a long time ago, that they want to invade Ukraine to take over Ukraine so that they can use food also as another method of strangulating Europe and other countries. Yes. I yes, told you that yes. in the beginning, I think, almost at the beginning of the war, as to why Russia just suddenly went in and just uh, invaded that country, unprovoked. Yes, 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 Master. In a way, it's a provoked. Tell the P. Francis that it is provoked, the way he said. The wheat, the grain provoked <laughs> Russia. <laughs> <laughs> and the wheat in the field and the grain in the silos provoked Russia to come and rush in and to steal it or to control it so that they can sell it. Like gang robbers. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, my God, so ugly. How can any country bear this kind of neighbor? Yeah. If any group outside just say like gangster or something, do this kind of thing yeah. in some small remote area or village or something, go inside and use his weapons to kill people and steal their grain and then sell it somewhere else, then these groups will be labeled as gangsters, terrorists, and then be hunted until they are caught and put in prison for a hundred years. Yes. Yes. But this is Russia, president, and the government, and nobody dared to say anything in the beginning. Yeah. Yes. And now they are still so quiet, some are still quiet. Yes, yes, yes Master. And so some of the, the so-called uh, independent areas in Ukraine were just uh, leaning on Russia, and then asking Russia for weapons and going against their own country. Before, mm, yes, 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 yes. many of those people were betraying their country and doing some kind of ridiculous stuff. And then Russia refused to give them anything. Yes, yes, yes. Master. Russia was using them. Mm, yes, 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 yes. I don't pass uh, these regions using them so that they have an excuse to come in and to kill their countrymen. And that was so stupid to believe that. Illusion. So they went with Russia. And when they needed some help, Russia just ignored them. You saw that on the news, right, last time? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man. Okay, tell me. Anything else? Uh, Master, on July 28th, the president of Lithuania, Kitanis Naseda, visited Kyiv and presented President Zelensky with Lithuania's highest state award for his merits in defending freedom and democratic values in Europe together with the Ukrainian people. President Naseda also stated Lithuania will continue to help Ukraine with military, financial, and humanitarian assistance. Mm, very good. Very good. That's the way. Also, uh, Boris Johnson presented President Zelensky with a Churchill Award. Oh, yes. yes That's a very high honor. Because Churchill was very revered and respected all over the world, not just in England. Churchill? The Prime Minister of England, a long time ago? Yes, Minister. Okay. All right. What else? Three residents of Woodbridge in eastern England, UK, are offering free weekly English classes to Ukrainian refugees in the area. Mm. There are currently 13 students. One of the participants said of the class, it gives hope, faith, and confidence that we will be able to work, study, and live in England. Yeah, sure. Sure they will. Well, it's better than English people learning Ukrainian, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the Ukrainian subtitles on our TV. <laughs> I thought, how can I learn that? I wanted to, but I don't know how. Um, it must be difficult, right? Yes, yes. yes. It looks a little bit difficult. Like Russian and Greek, these are very difficult for me. It looks difficult, but maybe not. If you stay there for a while, you get used to it. Then you learn quicker when you're in the country. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, anything else? Any bad news? <laughs> a lot, huh? Yeah. A lot, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are a lot of monkeypox cases now in New York alone, not to talk about anywhere else. Mm. And many other kinds of strange diseases came up. Yeah, even killing children. Terrible. And even the BA5, yeah, is spiking everywhere. Yes. I mean, going upwards. Hong Kong, they thought they were going to relax, but now it's the same. 
because every day uh, the count of infected patients is increasing. Oh, and now Wuhan is locked down again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm. The one where COVID-19 was first supposed to have started. Now it's locked down again. China is unable to shake off the latest wave of Wuhan virus cases. In fact, the Wuhan virus is now back in Wuhan, the original epicenter of the pandemic. It's reporting a fresh outbreak. How many cases? Just four so far. And all the patients are asymptomatic. The outbreak is limited to just one district. That is what China claims. But in typical fashion, China has ordered everyone to stay at home. We are talking about one million citizens under lockdown in Wuhan. One million. They are not allowed to move around anymore. Large group events have been banned. Dining at restaurants, also banned. Entertainment venues and markets, closed. Bus and subway services, suspended. China's zero COVID protocol is kicking in in Wuhan. The people are afraid of what could follow. And the other area in China are also locked down again. In Shanghai, you know already, right? They just opened, they celebrated, and then now locked down again, or tested very severely again. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's terrible everywhere. So I told you, I told people, please be careful now. You have to turn vegan now to protect yourself. <coughs> and I want to say to everybody, this is my last offer, last call. If you turn vegan and repent sincerely, I will really take you to heaven, guarantee, within six months from today. Mm -hmm. As a last call. Mm -hmm. I won't be allowed to do much more than that. After this last call, without initiation, it will not be guaranteed for just anyone. You will have to try harder, fending for yourself. Yes, Master. <sighs> Any other bad news? Good news. I think that's it, Master. That's it, huh? I have some good news for you. Oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. One which I think is good news is Boris Johnson. He still continues to stay resigned. He doesn't change his mind. But uh, some days ago, there was a petition in Ukraine. They want him to be the prime minister of Ukraine. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of signatures already. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but they also said that is not in line with the constitution. But I think the constitution of any country is made by the people. That's true, right. Master. So if people want it differently, then they could change. Yes, right. Yes. Yes. Just make a simple vote. Yeah, how many percent? Then he can be prime minister. It will be good for Ukraine if England doesn't want him. Yes, yes, yes Master. master. Uh, no matter what, it's an honor that some foreigners who don't know much about you trusted you so much that they wanted you to be even one of the heads of their country. I mean, after the president, of course. Yes, yes. Yes. That would be good. Then he will be putting all his heart, his mind, his soul in there to help that country. And he's an influential leader, you know, and he's a good one. Oh, yes. Yes, he's very, very good. good. His last words to the British Parliament as Prime Minister was, Hasta la vista, I sure. Hasta la vista, that was baby. <laughs> um, which of course comes from Terminator, and the next line is, I'll be back. There's already a campaign to have Boris Johnson back as Prime Minister. Would you support that? I have no right to play in politics inside the UK. What I can say is he is a big friend of Ukraine. I want him to be somewhere in politics, in a position to be someone. I don't want him to, to disappear, but the decision is in the hands of the British people. But I am sure that whatever position he is going to take, he is always going to be with Ukraine. This is from the heart. People like him everywhere. Yes, yes, master. yes, master. Concerning Boris Johnson, he is from the positive power. Yes, yes master. He's one of the heavenly beings that came to this world to help the planet. Oh. Of course, nobody can see that, not even himself. Yes, yes, master. yes master. But if Ukraine accepts him, oh, that will be a very big blessing oh, for the yes. country. He will bless the country, and heaven will bless that country as well. Hopefully, they would do that. 
any person who came from heaven, whether or not they are aware of their power, they do have some power. Yes. yes. And that blessing power is uh, hard to find. If Ukraine accepts him as the prime minister, they will be very, very good for that country. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But people <laughs> don't listen and don't see. They only see outside. That's the problem. Oh, yes. Master. Yeah. Anyone who treats a heavenly being well will be blessed anyway. That is normal. That's automatic. Yes, miss. It's just that people in this world are mostly blind, deaf, and dumb. Yes, they don't see things apart from their car, their house, their table. They don't see other things about other heavenly beings. Yes, yes master. So they don't treat them nicely. Even the Buddha, Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for example, and Guru Nanak even, or Lord Mahavira. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Only some know that afterwards. And even then, they still have schemes to harm them. Yes, mm -hmm. understand. Yes. Many know, but some don't know. It takes just a few people who don't know who can harm those uh, heavenly beings or Buddhas or saints and say it. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. When anyone who treats them well, oh, they never know. They will go straight to heaven with them afterwards, no matter what they have done. Oh. It's like that. Due to their ignorance or their karma or my influence, no matter what, they will go straight to heaven to where these heavenly beings belong, or higher still. It depends. Yes, yes master. master. understand. Anyway, the constitution can always change. Well, I hope that the UK don't lose too much merit from forcing him out. Oh, they might. Mm. You never know. I don't want to say anything like that, because they think I'm threatening. They don't want Johnson to be there. I don't even know Johnson. I never met him. Just I have to say what uh, I see. I have to say what I want to say. And I say the truth only. That's all. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. But how many people listen anyway? <laughs> Whatever is true, you tell most people don't listen. Yes, yes, yes master. 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 It's hard to understand why they don't. Yeah, he didn't do anything wrong at all. He was just surprised by a party. Yes. yes. And even if he did have a party, there are people who were working together with him. He has to also. He has to also keep this kind of collect atmosphere to work together like a more approachable person. Mm, yes, yes, Master. Otherwise, just aloof and he didn't need that party. Do you think he needed it? No, 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 of course not. No. He has a wife and kids at home and he could also quietly invite a couple of family members whoever is allowed to have a party in the workplace. It's not all that <laughs> cozy anyway. Yes. This kind of surprised him. That's unfair. Unfair. He did absolutely nothing wrong. Yes, yes Master. That's right, Master. Oh. If I was a prime minister, I guess I would do the same. How can I say no to them? They were already there, and I just walked through, and ah, everybody was there already. What would I say? Would I turn my back and run back to my office? No, no you can't. You have to be part of the group with them. That's right. You have to be like a team person. It's difficult to run the country without a team. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and at that time, if people surprise you or already prepare like that, I don't think you can even stop and think anymore. Yes, 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 Master. It's just blend in and go in naturally. They are only human men. They are only humans anyway. It's not much of a big deal. They should look into all the things he's done nationally and internationally yes. for England. Yes, yes Master. Master. His Excellency Boris Johnson's domestic achievements. National Health Service England's workforce has added 25,000 nurses since 2019. Over 13,500 police officers have been hired in England and Wales as of March 2022. The Police, Crime, Sentencing and Courts Act 2022, among other measures, ends the automatic early release of offenders deemed to be a danger to the public. In 2022, the government instituted the largest single personal tax reduction in a decade, a tax cut worth £6 billion for 30 million workers across the country, with 2.2 million citizens lifted out of paying personal tax altogether. As part of a £37 billion government package, over 8 million low-income households will receive at least £1,200 in 2022 to ease cost-of-living issues. The Prime Minister launched a new mortgage program to aid first-time home buyers that vastly reduces the needed deposit and could create 2 million new homeowners. 
various animal people protection laws have been implemented, including the Animal Welfare Sentience Act 2022. His national food strategy will require schools, prisons and hospitals to offer a vegan meal option. Mr. Johnson introduced plans to end the sale of gasoline-powered vehicles and add four times current offshore wind power capacity by 2030 and committed to lessen the UK's carbon emissions by 78% by 2035, etc. His Excellency Boris Johnson's International Achievements The Prime Minister secured a Brexit agreement with the European Union Mr. Johnson signed trade deals with Australia, New Zealand and Turkey. He has vocally supported Ukraine and championed President Zelensky on the world stage after Russia's invasion. His government is providing military, humanitarian and economic support of £3.8 billion to Ukraine in 2022. The UK's military aid to Ukraine will purchase among other things, sophisticated air defence systems, uncrewed aerial vehicles, innovative new electronic warfare equipment and vital items needed by Ukrainian soldiers. The UK is offering a comprehensive new training program to the Ukrainian armed forces. Approximately 3,000 British soldiers have been sent to Estonia to defend the nation from a possible Russian attack. Mr. Johnson introduced plans to end the UK's import of Russian oil and coal by the end of 2022 and his government is banning the export of certain goods to and new investments in Russia. He has offered up to 3 million Hong Kong residents the chance to settle in the UK and ultimately apply for citizenship, etc. And the English people also like him. I don't know why they don't say anything. They should just make a petition to say, oh, Johnson, stay, you know, we forgive you. Besides, it's nothing much. It's just a cake <laughs> and uh, some drinks. <laughs> yes, that's yes. right. <laughs> Sell brought drinks. And it's a kind of surprise. They ambush him. That's mm. what it said on the news. Oh, yes. yes. He was ambushed with a cake. <laughs> he didn't order it. He didn't want the party. He did not say, you make a party for me or anything. Many people, they make a surprise birthday party, you know that, right? Yes, yes, yes. In the West, it's often like that. Yes, yes. They yes. say nothing as if they have forgotten about you, that you don't exist, and when you come home, not even a light is on. <laughs> mm. Like everybody deserted you already. <laughs> After a long, hard day's work, you come home, and nothing there. And you come inside, and suddenly all the lights turn on at the same time, and happy birthday! <laughs> I have seen that sometimes in some of the clips. Mm. <laughs> it was a surprise party. Yes, 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 sir. And how can he refuse? That's true. Yes, yes, true yes. Master. And in the moment like that, he would just come and he stay even less than 10 minutes. That's what they reported. Yes, yes, yes right. And whoever was there was there as a surprise. He didn't invite him. He didn't even know the party was there. Yes, Master. And then... Why did all his subordinates or colleagues resign? Because they were the ones who organized the party. <laughs> <laughs> so they felt the same. Mm. Or maybe they felt like, okay, okay, don't blame him, we resign, that's good enough. <laughs> but then that makes him resign because no one is there with him. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Nobody got sick or anything, man. just let it be, man. Huh? Yes. And he already apologized. Yes. Yes. yes, He read it openly on air. Yes, he did. Yes, master. Yes. Yeah, I heard it myself, and I forgive him. I'm also British. Huh? If I can forgive him, everybody else can. I once again offer a full apology, and in a spirit of openness and humility, I want to be completely clear about what happened on that date. On a day that happened to be my birthday, there was a brief gathering in the cabinet room shortly after 2 p.m., lasting for less than 10 minutes, during which people I work with kindly passed on uh, their good wishes. And I have to say, in all frankness, at that time, it did not occur to me uh, that this might have been a breach of the rules. I understand the anger that many will feel that I myself fell short when it came to observing the very rules which the government I lead had introduced to protect the public, and I accept in all sincerity that people had the right to expect better. And now I feel an even greater sense of obligation 
to deliver on the priorities of the British people, strengthening our economy, creating jobs and opportunities, levelling up across the whole of the UK, United Kingdom. Uh, now, of course, ensuring that Putin fails in Ukraine and easing the burden on hard-working families caused by higher energy prices. I will take that fo forward, that, uh, that task, with due humility, but with maximum determination to fulfil my duty and do what is best for the country I serve. Thanks very much. Okay. Now, so any questions, no, anything, any comment? Uh, I have a question, Master. Tell. Previously, when uh, Putin came and uh, repented to you, you felt a lot of love for him. And then this past uh, conference, you mentioned that you felt a lot of love for Maya and uh, the devils. Yeah. Did that mean like they repented as well, Master? Yeah, they do. Um. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, actually, anyone who repents, I will feel love for them. It's just automatic. Yes, Master. Mm -hmm. oh. And it's just automatic nowadays. If I know that person, if they have contact with me, or even if remote, then it feels like a general love. But in Putin's case, it's personal love. It's mm -hmm. like a contact love. Uh, yes. Not general, like for a big group or for the whole world or for all the animal people. Yes, yes, yes. Master. And by the way, Maya told me... Uh, some time ago that he did not mean to threaten me. He just meant to remind me. Oh. oh. I said, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry for Maya. Yeah, I guess I realized that also. But when you talk to the devil, you expect that he would threaten you and all kinds of things. Mm. Just like nowadays, if the West talks to Russia, they expect not always nicey, nicey talk. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I say, yeah, afterward, I also realized that. And I'm sorry. <laughs> no harm done, no hard feelings, no? <laughs> it's all right. I feel very sorry for them. I really wanted to get them up. But they had to do something first, if they could. And then uh, we will see. Right now, I cannot tell you anything. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but I do really feel love for them because what kind of life is that? Imagine it, you, huh? Living in darkness like that all the time and having to hunt, chase, kill and cheat and do all kinds of things mm. just to get food because they are not allowed to eat any other food in their world, mm. in their mentality, in their kind of level. They only can eat this kind of dirty, agonizing, dead food. Mm. Yes, yes. And so ugly, dirty, filthy. Imagine if you, can you eat that, a baby who just died? then terrible energy, bloody all over like that, and then you have to eat that. Mm. No, 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 You cannot. Yes. yes. But that's all they're allowed to. They told me, if we don't do this, do that, and we cannot eat. Mm. Mm. So one day I told Maya, you have a lot of power, why don't you use your power to create some food for them to eat? Whatever they need to eat, you just create it. So there's no waste of your power, and it's good for all of them. Good for you also. I do something good for others, unconditionally. I told them that. Mm, yes, yes Master. Uh, I said, uh, if you do something good and you repent, and so maybe I will also try to manifest something for you guys. Otherwise, you're not allowed to eat even if I do manifest. Uh, um, yes, Master. Yes, Master. And I was wondering if there was a way they could eat vegan food somehow, but you answered that also. Yeah, they can eat manifested food, but they have to do something to earn it. Yes, Master. Yes. Uh, this is complicated. This kind of illusional world is complicated. It's not so simple like heaven. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. They are black and white here. Black dot, white dot. Yes, <laughs> yes. Black field, white field. And things are just uh, uh, becoming more and more entangled and complicated as the beings live longer in this kind of realm, this kind of domain. You do one thing and then it breeds another thing. And then from that thing, it breeds another thing. Always breeding out. Just like uh, one couple can have ten children. Mm, yes, 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 And from those ten children, they will create another ten children and twenty children and a hundred children. 
out of their tent. Yes, 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 yes. And then their great grandchildren, etc., etc., like that. Yes, yes, yes. You can never control in this world. You do one thing wrong, and it will lead to another wrong thing, and then another wrong thing, and then your karma keeps doubling or quadrupling and multifold. That's why. Yes, 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 yes. If you do one good thing, similarly, the marriage also will be multiplied like that. So, any other questions? I have another question, Master. Please. Before you, you said that the COVID, they don't attack their own people. The negative, not the their negative. own. The negative. Yeah. So why did Biden and Harris and Pelosi, who are demon-possessed, get COVID? Oh, yeah, I asked that question to heaven also. And this was not the COVID-19 chief who answered me. Oh. It's someone else. But it's the heaven arranging it for some reason. It's not convenient to tell you. Okay, yes, Master, I understand. One day, maybe I will. Yes, Master. Yes, ma it's for some later on purpose, for some other international arrangement. Yes, yes, Master. Because I'm not just sitting and sleeping, yeah? I pray, I demand, I order, I command, I yell, I scream, <laughs> I scold heaven <laughs> and earth, okay? Yes, yes, Master. Yes, master. And then they had to change sometimes in order to rearrange something according to what I want. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes But it, it's complicated then. <laughs> I, I can't tell you. Yes, yes master. master. I wanted to very much. Everything I know I want to tell you, but the time is not yet correct. Yes, yes Master. Maybe later. Because this is uh, concerning international affairs in all kinds of countries. Uh, even if heaven does not forbid me to tell, I don't want to tell. Mm, yes, yes. Sensitive things you have to handle with care, otherwise you go wrong. Yes. yes. And not because I'm worried people will think I'm wrong. I'm worried that it will affect the whole world, uh, a lot of people. Yes. Yes. It might bring harm to them if I disclose too much. So I'm just waiting and seeing. <laughs> 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 if I can, I tell you. Just like I told you before, many things about the COVID-19 chief, he told me that it will get worse, remember? Yes, yes Master. Yes, master. Mm -hmm. And now it didn't get worse. Mm -hmm. And when I told you, I was also thinking, oh, okay, we we'll wait and see. How can it be worse? It's already so bad. How can it be worse? But it became worse. Yes, yes, yes that's right. right. Be a five. Yes, yes. yes. And it's not just on the surface, things that are like underneath people don't know. Yes, yes Master. There are many other side effects that make people get more sick or die or get different kinds of diseases or different effects that people don't think have from COVID. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because they may be recovered and got out of the hospital and tested negative already. So they didn't think anything else has to do with COVID, but they all do. Nowadays, they all do. Many things have something to do with COVID-19. And sub variant. Yes, yes, yes. Master. like that, okay. And then there are some things that I can tell a little bit like that, but I cannot tell everything. I cannot tell you what it will affect, because there are too many things also anyway. Yes, yes. 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 And it got worse anyway, already. It got worse. 
and more and more on top of it. Drought or severe weather everywhere. Yes. 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 Oh my God. Anytime you open the internet, you see it. Like in Italy, one river suddenly became all dry and 70% of their crops are kaput. Wow. 70% of that region. Yes. Yes. Just one region. They don't always report every town from Italy or every village. It's true, Master. 70% crop. Kaput. Imagine that. In the delta of Italy's once mighty river Po, drought has struck. 70% of the crop is gone, Frederica Vitali tells me. The drought has impacted a third of Italy's agriculture. Five major food-producing Italian regions have declared a drought emergency. Climate change here isn't a myth, it's reality. In the last 10 years, Antonio says, the area planted with rice has gone down almost 50% as a result of drought. Scenes like this are increasingly common along the Po. Whole areas usually covered by water now exposed, turned into beaches or islands of sand in the middle of where the river usually flows. And those who provide water to farmers in the Po Valley say they're not just worried about this summer's crops, but about years to come. A frightening prospect as people here and millions of others around the world struggle to adapt to a changing climate. If everywhere is like that, it's no wonder people have hunger everywhere. Nowadays, not to talk about Ukraine cannot export. That's right. Mm. That's right, Master. Truly, heaven wants to destroy the world. You saw that. Mm. Yes, Master. You saw that through all kind of disaster and terrible weather and all kind of just weird death, weird diseases, all kind of things. The people became even more violent everywhere. Mm. In peaceful countries, in peaceful times, not just in Ukraine, not just in the war. Yes, yes Master. Master.
etc. Oh God, every day I don't know how I don't know how I continue to live here. Really, sometimes I want to just just go. It's too much, you know, too much. What else? Anything else that I can clear your mind with? Maybe one more, Master. Um, you said before that uh, the COVID uh, viruses were revengeful souls. Is that the same case for the monkeypox, Master? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. All the viruses, they are the same. Ah. They are not just from air. They are not like feathers. Or no soul, no feelings, nothing. They do have feelings and souls. They have an organized uh, group who is doing what where and who is going to get it. Oh. Do they also have a uh, monkeypox chief? Oh, they do, of course. They do, of course. And sub chiefs and all that. Ah. But I don't deal with the sub. I deal with the, the chief, chairman, mm, yes, 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 president. <laughs> because he knows everything already. Why do we have to go one by one? Mm, right, yes, master. Every region they have a sub chief, of course. Every sub variant, they they have a chief also. Wow. Mm. Not every variant is the same. Not all the COVID viruses are the same. Mm, yes, yes master. master. And not everyone they attack the same. They have a very organized, precise way of attacking. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Some they give more, some less. You can see that maybe even without me explaining. Yes, master. You observe the things that are happening in the world. Just COVID-19 alone, you will see. Some get more sick, some get less. Yes, yes. It's true, Master. Some don't have anything and they didn't have any vaccine. But some even um, have a booster two, three, four times even. In Israel, they won uh, the fifth time. I don't know if they carried it out, but they wanted to. And still get COVID. Yes, yes, yes Master. And some walk around everywhere. Some doctors work in uh, overwhelmed hospitals, get nothing. And some just come in and die of COVID. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm not talking to the monkey pox chief yet. <laughs> I don't need to. I don't want to anymore. But I'm only talking to you guys and my so-called disciples. How many people even care to listen to me? Anyway, sometimes it feels useless. All this time already, so much sickness. Pets everywhere from disease, disaster, and even a sun flare and comets coming and even a Chinese rocket is dropping down to Earth and the scientists don't even know where it will land yet. Oh. And the one uh, Chinese uh, rocket is slammed into the moon. Uncontrollable. Mm. It's not just a Chinese fault or, or their technique was bad for anything. It's just the way it happened everywhere. It's just like catastrophes. Yes, yes master. All right then. God bless. God protect you and protect yourself. Keep your faith strong. Continue your noble work. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Thank you, master. Thank you, master. I have a lot of respect for you for that. No matter why you come, no matter what level, no matter how much heart you put into it, I still have a lot of respect. It's a hard work what you're doing. Not not many people can do it. You can see it, right? <laughs> you can count on your fingers, and then you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So, you know, you have appreciation for me, okay? Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. master. Don't get your ego up, that will be trouble for me, or both. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. master. Protect yourself from your ego. (laughs) Yes, Master. May God heal you from everything that is harmful. May God give you all that is good for you. God love. Thank you, God. Thank Thank you, you, Master. Most caring Master, the world is privileged to have your priceless presence as your immense blessings and endless support grant humans a chance to redeem themselves and be saved. We sincerely pray for as many souls as possible to quickly repent and embrace the life-preserving vegan diet, thus allowing them to get in touch with their true nature. Our noble shift to veganism will be just the beginning of a world filled with peace where hunger, poverty, and violence no longer exist and where leaders are heaven-sent beings who genuinely protect and love their citizens. May Precious Master enjoy robust health and safety in the boundless protection of all heavens. 
To hear some of Supreme Master Ching Hai's interesting stories from her stay in India during her earlier years, and what advice she gave to the team members in dealing with summer heat, please tune in for the full broadcast of this conference on Between Master and Disciples at a later date. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related fly-in news or between master and disciples conferences, such as fly-in news, important information from the chief of COVID, energy radiating into our planet. Only peacemakers can go to heaven. In the hour of heaven's judgment, wake up and be vegan now, etc. To view these and more related fly-in news and between master and disciples conferences, please visit suprememastertv.com. And search for "Last Call to Turn Vegan" 